Hi, 안녕하세요, my friends all around the world. Welcome to Hi Korea 360 virtual tour. Starting with this video, Hi Korea channel will provide online travel experiences for those who cannot travel right now through the virtual tour series. Also, provide information for those who will travel to Korea in the future. You can move around your mobile device or drag the screen with your computer's mouse to view it 360 degrees in any direction you want. Set the resolution to the maximum allowed by your internet speed and listen to it with headphones or earphones to feel more realistic. Today, we will take a look around Yoido Hangang River Park in Seoul. Let's go! If you go on exit 3 of Yoinaru Station on Seoul Subway Line 5, the people you meet first are these women who distribute the delivery food flyers. If you call here at the phone number, you can get food like fried chicken or pizza delivered anytime at the park. If you are not confident in calling because of language problems, you can buy something to eat here at the convenience store or cafe. Korean young people like eating ramen cooked by themselves at convenience stores. <laughs> this is exit 2 of the subway which is closer to the square of the park. Of course you can get food flies here too. You can also rent a small tent or a mat to use in the park. And you can see the people selling snacks. If you look back, you can see skyscrapers. In fact, Yoido is a financial center in Korea with many offices. The Twin Towers you can see up close is the headquarters building of LG Group. Now I can see the Hangang River far away. No doubt it's a photo zone, right? Take a picture here. Hangang River is a very wide river that crosses the center of Seoul from east to west. The place across the river over there is also Seoul and the northern part of the river. This one on your left is a Hangang water taxi platform, but there are not many passengers because it's not so convenient to use. The gold building you see over there is 63 square building and it was the tallest building in Korea in my childhood. Although it's not even ranked in 10th now, 
It is still one of the landmarks in Seoul. This park is crowded after 5 to 6 p.m. on weekdays when office workers leave work and students finish their classes. Of course, there are many people all day long on weekends. This is the area where you can use small tents. Tents must be used only in designated area from May to October and all must be removed after 7 p.m. If you don't keep it, the fine will be 1 million won. Wouldn't it be ridiculous to pay a fine of 1 million won for a trip to Korea? Let's just follow the rule. Here you can eat the food delivered or bought at the convenience store. Drinking alcohol in the parks is also allowed by law in Korea. But please refrain from drinking too much. It guarantees you the freedom to drink, but it doesn't even give you the right to be drunk and disorderly. Bicycle roads are very well made in Hangang River Park. You can ride your bike along Hangang and cross Seoul to Gyeonggi-do. It's also very good for running. I enjoy running and it's very refreshing to look at the river while running. You want to ride a bike but you don't have one? Don't worry. This is Korea. Nothing is impossible. There is also a bicycle rental shop for you. You just bring your body and some money, then everything is ready in the park. A single bicycle costs 3,000 won per hour, 6,000 won for tandem, and 5,000 won for a baby ride with a parent. It's a little cheaper per hour if you rent it for 2 hours. You can ask the office here and rent it. You can't use a tent in this area. 
Can you see that everyone is using a mat instead of tent? If you want to stay closer to the river, you can set your mat here. There are sometimes street performances in this place. If you prefer grass over the riverside, you can come here in the grass square. All tents should be removed by 7 p.m., but there's no time limit for using the mat. If you set up a tent here, you'll be fined 1 million won, so be careful. That's the food delivery area over there. After you order the food on the phone, you can pick it up here when the delivery man calls you. Korea is really a paradise for delivery food. If you came to the Hangang, wouldn't it be nice to take a cruise around? 
I recommend taking the cruise after sunset rather than during the day. You can enjoy a night view along the Hangang River. The dog also creates a romantic atmosphere with lights at night rather than day. It's a good place to go on a date. This is a place where you can lie down on a hammock and rest. Of course, these hammocks are not individual, but public hammocks installed by Seoul City. You can just go to an empty hammock and lie down. It's free. If you come to Seoul for a trip, don't you think it's worth going to Yoido Hangang River Park? If you need my help with your trip to Korea, please leave a comment or send me an email. If you like this video, subscribe to Hikar channel and hit the bell and like buttons. See you in the next video. Annyeong!